Hello, Internet, and welcome to the second episode of the Big Microcontroller Tutorial. In this episode, I will be showing you how to set up your development environment, covering up the step-by-step -step installation of MPLAB X IDE, as well as the required compiler for the PIC. And lastly, we will also be doing the famous Hello World for an embedded system. So let's get started. First off, let's download the MPLAB X IDE from microchip.com. And then let's go to products and development tools and software and the LabX IDE. After that, let's just go down, go to the downloads tab. There. And then download the application that is suited for your operating system. You have Windows here, you have Linux, and you have Mac. So for me, I am going to download the Windows because I have a Windows environment. I will not be downloading this one because this is only a better version. I would prefer the stable version of the application. So this one, I'm going to download it. Here, I have already downloaded the um, installer beforehand. So here it is. This is the installer. You just double click it. Just click next. Accept, next, next. Okay, if you want to install the IDE and uh, also the integrated programming environment, and then just next and uh, set up will continue. So I'm just going to pause here until it's, it's done because this might take quite a while. The installation is almost done. We are now on the final step of our setup for the MPLAB IDE. You can see a tick box. It says here, Exe compilers are not installed with the IDE. To, in, to download a compiler or assembler, please leave this checkbox unchecked or uncheck and download at a later time. So you might want to leave it checked so it would automatically redirect us to the page where we should be downloading the C compilers that we will be needing. Just press finish. It opened on my other window. So let me just transfer it here. Hmm. Okay. It's wrong link. Let's just manually go there. So uh, we go to products and then compilers. This one, this is the page, and then go to downloads, and then compilers. We have three compilers available, the C32, the C16, and the C18. For the PIC that we'll be using, it is an 8-bit microcontroller. So what we will be using is the XC8. XC8 compiler. However, I would like to download a three and then install them for so that whenever I will be using PICs which require C16 or C32, my environment is already ready and I already have a compiler to use. To download this one, you just click here and then a pop-up window would appear like this one here. So I'm just going to cancel that one since I have already downloaded the compiler earlier. So this is the 
this is the downloaded application. We have C8, C16, and C32. So let's just install one at a time. Double click that one. We have the C8C compiler set up. Just click next, accept, then free since we will be working only with the free version. And then I'm just going to leave this as it is and then just click next. The installation is finally done. It says here, if you want to use the free MPLAB C8 compiler, and click Next. If you if your compiler is already licensed, click Next. So for us, we are just going to use the free version. We are just going to click Next. So there will be no windows popping up since the C compiler is a compiler that will be integrated in the MPLAB XIDE. Let's just open MPLAB and let me show you how to find all the available compilers that are installed in the app in the MPLAB. Here. Go to tools and then let's see option. embedded so you can see here here we have Mpassum which is an assembler compiler and then we have the XC8 which is the compiler we just installed let's cancel let's close MPLAB and let's continue I'm just going to continue installing XC16 and XC32 the process will be very much the same. We have successful installing the last two compilers. Now we are going to open the MPLAB XIDE to see if all the compilers were successfully integrated with the application. Let's check again the MPLAB XIDE. Embedded. Okay, so we now have the MPASM, which is the assembler, the C16, C32, and C8. Let's click OK, and then we are finally done. The development environment is now ready. We are now going to create a sample program that allows us to blink LEDs create a new project, select microchip embedded and then standalone project, click, ne click next, and then let's select mid-range, let's type it in here, 16F877A, select it, and then for here, let's select simulator. Click Next, and then select XC8, which will be the compiler that we will be using. Select Next, and then select the project location for your embedded C program. I'm going to name this Hello World. Finish. After clicking finish, this is the structure that will be created in MPLAB. Let's click source file, right click, add new, and then see main file. That's hello world, let's name it hello world, and then let's leave that empty. Finish. Here. This is the default C file that the MPLAB will create after creating a new file. 
What we are going to do right now is program the code. We're going to delete this one and include the header file of the XC compiler, which is the XC.h. You need to include this one or the MPLAB IDE will not build successfully. So let's first let's set the port B as an output and then creating create an infinite loop. I think it's just R B zero. Build it again. Okay, there she goes. We now have a successful build. However, however, between the turning on and the turning off of a port or an or a LED, we would like to have a small delay. So I don't know the function for the delay here. So we're going to create a manual delay. Let's just name it counter. And then let's allow the counter to count to decrement until it goes to zero. Okay. Our counter is greater than zero. Allow it to decrement and then We got the while here. Let's copy that also here. Okay. Now we're going to add here counter is equals to one thousand and then do the same thing over here. We're done. Let's try building it. Build main project. Now let's try loading it to an MCU to see if it behaves the way we expect it to. I will be running this program on a simulated environment because I I don't have the crystal oscillator that I need right now in order to complete the basic circuit of the 16 of 877A. This is the Proteus that I was mentioning on the first episode of the series. This is the MCU, the 16 of 877A, and then we have an LED and a resistor. What we will do now is load the hex file onto the MCU and just hit run to see if the program is, is um, to see if the program makes our MCU behave as it as we want it to. From program file in the program file area or in the program file input box, let's load the hex file. This is said and then this production here. Loaded and then let's update the clock frequency to 8 megahertz. Okay, and then let's try running. Let's wait for a little bit. Okay. It is not functioning as we are expecting it. Okay, I wonder why not. Hmm. Let's go back to the other program. Why is it not functioning correctly? Okay, counter is equals to zero, counter minus minus RB zero is one. 
Hmm. Keeps wrong. Okay, I don't understand why it's not functioning. At least as it has been correctly set. Let's try that one again. Okay, let's run it. Okay, there we go. It seemed that we need to reload it again. You can see the the dot here. This is the blinking that we're actually expecting. I don't understand why the LED is not lighting up. It's supposed to light up. I think we just need to decrease the um decrease the resistance. Let's try putting one thousand one one K. Let's see if it Okay, there we go. The resistance was just too big. So as you can see we now have a blinking LED. Now, if we are going to, if we want to increase the delay between the um, the on and off state of an LED, then all we need to do is to just increase the counter. So I think that's pretty much it. This ends our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next episode.